record. So you're talking about a guy who is just a freshman and now tips off for the first time as a preseason first-teamer All-American. We are underway on the 2019-20 college basketball season. Your officials for tonight, Bart Lennox, Zelton Steed, and Keith Patterson. Quickly inside the Wiseman for the first bucket of the season. Tigers also like to play a lot of man defense. They will press. They really want to push the tempo defensively. Three-pointer knocked in by Ian Kiner. For the Bulldogs. Tigers break it easily. Boogie Ellis for three. James Wiseman, nobody boxed him out, and Wiseman with the emphatic finish. And the school's SIDs. Kiner feeling it, and he's two for two. And quick flush. Down at the other end, speaking of flushes, Precious and Chua off the great feed. Flat, and most importantly, converting easy opportunities. Backing Achua down low is Ozante Fields, the guy who is expected to be a one and dunner. Quinones nice. with the nice up and under. He has his first bucket as a collegiate. The warm up and see those two guys as opposition. <laughs> Ouch. Neil the runner over the outstretched arms of Achua. Should get the ball in there. A little indecisive there again. First, first outing in a real game for him. Early on in the preseason. Defense was one thing that Penny Hardaway really was stressing. They've got to do a better job, and obviously tonight, that's a big case. Cordova High School set a Memphis freshman record for threes last year. Oh! 79. Great pass from D.J. Jeffries. The precious of Chua who finishes at the rim. Who does what well together, and in different games, different players and combinations will, will be utilized. And in the first couple of games is when you're really trying to find that out. You've obviously been doing practice. You've done an exhibition, but now it's for real. Applewhite takes the bump, absorbs it, and makes the shot. So at halftime, what a week it has been for Mike Norvell, the football program, and the city of Memphis in general. Actually, he's going to join us during the first That's half right. action. There you go. Oh, to James Wiseman. Well done by Alex Lomax. We approach 12 to go in half number one. Edwards flew by Harrison, a great delivery to Bottenberg. Getting yeah, very impressed with South Carolina State uh, in, so far in this game. Oh. Lomax for Wiseman. No, he got it back. He makes the bucket and draws the foul. He's just too big right now for South Carolina State. Level there Saturday night and Saturday morning. Uh, you have seven hours of national broadcasting. It was all Tigers. Coach, so Wiseman, excuse me, John. Well, it's that time by Memphis. Didn't force it. I mentioned just moments ago, DJ Jeffries with the first chance. The athleticism is showing out. Uh, you're going to do it on that on that stage. Uh, showed up big in every phase. And, uh, Antonio is really coming along for us this senior year. Into and... it, but good, good job of spacing with that particular view. See how the players get some spacing where one player can't guard two. Long rebound, and he pulls up and he knocks it down. Without the resources that these so-called Power 5 schools have, look what they can do with this city supporting a team with 59,000 and a sellout at Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. It, it really tells everybody, Mike, how great of a sports town it is, but how great that backing for football can be. No question. That was one of my favorite. Oh! Oh, you needed the ball oh, out for us. <laughs> Damian Ball with the finish. To do that, Larry Finch was the same. He hated losing anything. Jeffries from the corner for three, and that's the first three-pointer made by the Tigers. Oh. Harris spots up for a wide open three, and that's what Tyler does very, very well. Transfer rules. Tigers trying to take advantage of the turnover. And Lomax does. Shot clock down, now at five. Stolen by Lomax. And what a move as he avoided number 15, Rashawn Moore. For debut. Jeffrey, the Wiseman with the finish. Boy, the charity stripe is a 10 point Tigers lead. And along those lines, South Carolina State is, and Wiseman again. There's just nobody who can cover this guy. Easy for the Tigers going inside, and the lead now a dozen. But. The point I was making with Murray Garvin, he has some players injured. Look at... <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, it does. Did you see Wiseman just snatched that out of the hands of Boogie Ellis? 
Pretty good take there by Tariq Simmons, but unable to finish. Wide open three for Bowman. It's back to back for Damian. Applewhite over Wiseman. And great hustle by number three, Ray Sean Neal. He got the loose ball and got his second bucket of the game. Achua trying to work one on nice. one, and he makes the play on a nice little sidestep. Fine defense, of course. Uh, Tony Bennett in Virginia won a national championship last year employing that. The defense, oh yeah, came up by his father, Dick Bennett, when he was coaching. That time the Tigers had two defenders contesting, and Wiseman leads the break. Wiseman with the finish on a great pass from Precious Achua. Tigers by 21. Pretty looking drive there by Neal. At some point. Remember, Wiseman did not play in either exhibition game, nor did he play down in the Bahamas. Errant pass by South Carolina State. Look at Alex Lomax. That was such an intelligent play. Tigers dominating in the paint, as you would imagine. Jeffries trying for some more points in the paint. Misses, and Wiseman gets the rebound, his 11th. Remember, this is a team that has freshmen and sophomores. Lomax with the runner, he has eight points. I feel like it. Everybody's good at this level. You gotta bring that defensive effort. Thomas, the steal goes behind the back to Wiseman. Wiseman trying to finish, he does, he switched hands. Went with the left hand, then he does a little shrug, a little shoulder shrug. For the now, Penny really emphasizing with passing to, to move, not just to pass the ball and stand there. You have to go to a spot. Well, again, the problem, you're just running into waves of, of difficulties if you're if you're South Carolina State against this Memphis team. Shooting six of seven from the free throw line to go along with 11 rebounds. And now he plays point guard. That's an assist. Wiseman to Boogie Ellis. Of 16 from distance. Boogie with his first bucket as a Tiger. He has five. Nice take down at the other end That's by Rayshon Neal. He got an arm. He doesn't always have to block it, but he can affect so many shots as well. Well, there's a gamble that did not work. He's 6% from the field, 31% from three, and 92% from the line. Boogie Ellis count it, and he draws the foul. There will be a lot of different guys that, that, that will benefit. And I think Wiseman is intelligent and unselfish enough. He won't force it. He'll let the a game show. Him. Wow! So wow. Daniel Ball right in front. Favorite in that conference. Quinones, three Tigers behind the defense, and Boogie Ellis lays it off the window for Achua. That consistent defensive effort for Memphis here in the second half. They had some real problems in the first half. Nice move by Quinones. Nice looking jumper there from the freshman, 51. Tigers will host Illinois Chicago on Friday. Quinones drives and lays it in it's for Quinones. Then the trip to Oregon to play the Ducks, and we're back on the 16th. There's a three-pointer and an injury from three. Under five to play. Quinones, another sweet nice. drive. It's a big-time move. It's important, John. They, they played a team in South Carolina State that has a lot of upperclassmen, veterans that have been there and done that. There's a three for Jaden Hardaway. An uh, inexperienced team like they are. I believe Hardaway, uh, everybody that has played has scored now for Memphis. The number one recruiting class in the nation, and it did not disappoint, and a number of other. Thomas, DJ Jeffries, and company does some damage inside. Robert Flint Jr. in the game, as is the big guy. 95-64. Hardaway got fouled by Stone, and he'll go to the free throw line. So Jay what an unbelievable Saturday. Game day to start the day, and then... Uh Carolina State will host Bob Jones down in Orangeburg, South Carolina. They did not beat the clock, I don't believe. A rebound by Boyce, and that is going to do it. Boyce actually shoots it as they were going for, I guess, 100. He comes up a little bit too strong, but the Tigers come up big, 97 to 64. So all in all, John, an extremely gratifying performance, I would imagine, for the Tigers for Penny Hardaway.